Hello, in this video we'll create a database for our application. We'll be using local express server, it's part of Visual Studio. And if you want to know more about it, go to this link or you can just Google it. To access it, we'll go to View, SQL Server Object Explorer, and let's speed it to the screen. And as you can see, I already have the local instance of the of the server so if you don't have it if you use a visual studio first time click on this add sql server and go to local and this is the second option microsoft sql local db and click connect i won't do it because i already have an instance so after you connect it you're going to have your local instance now if i expand it and i go to databases i'll have a bunch of database because i already used it you won't have any databases if you use it first time. To create a new database, right click on your databases and choose add new database. Now we need to choose a name for our database. I'll type address book and I'll click OK. Okay, as you can see, we have now a database address book. If I expand it and expand tables, we have some internal system tables, but uh, we don't have tables that we created yet. So to create a new table, I will click on tables, right click and choose add new table. So we have a new table and by default, the, the name of the table is just table. So to change it, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to type the new name. And I'll just type address book table. All right, we change our name. Now we need to create our columns. So the first one, I'm going to call it record ID. And I'm going to leave it as integer for data type. And uh, right here, you can see in front, there's a little key. It means that uh, this is our primary key. It means that our record ID cannot be repeated. It must be unique value. All right, for, th for the next column, we're going to choose name. And for data type, we're going to choose nvrchar50. And uh, I want to now nulls because we want data uh, in our table. And uh, let's see, we have address and phone number. So for next column, it's going to be address and it's going to be a string too. And I'm going to choose nvarchar, but I'm going to click here and instead of 50, I'm going to do 100. So it's going to be up to 100 symbols, our address. All right. And again, I'm, I'm not going to allow nulls. So I'll, I'll unclick this. So next one is going to be phone number. And it's going to be a string too. And I'm going to change it to, let's say, 20. So the phone number is not that long usually, but if a user wants to put extension number or parentheses or dashes, we have extra characters here. And I'm going to unclick this allow nulls. And uh, now we have our table. So uh, to create a table, now we click update. Okay, and run the script. So update database. So as you can see here on the left side, we now have our new table, but no data yet. So to put data in a database, you need to right click on it and go to view data. And it's an empty table. So let's populate it. So the first record is going to be just uh, ID na, uh, one and I'll just put my first name and address, I'll just put Minneapolis and the phone number, I'll just put one, uh, ten, uh, 10 ones. All right, for the second record, it's gonna be, let's say John, and John will be living in uh, St. Paul, and his number will be all twos, 
and let's have one more record it's gonna be Mary and Mary will be living in St. Cloud and the number will be all threes all right now when I go to the next record the previous record has been saved so now I have actually a table with three records and it's all saved so in this video we learn how to create a new database so we create a dress book and how to create a new table inside the database so we create a new table and how to populate the table with the data in the next video we'll connect this database to our application for now have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.